Would you say this blaster makes you feel like Han Solo? Do I feel like Han Solo? Yes, you feel like Han Solo. Yes, I feel like Han Solo, of course. This gun looks nothing like Han Solo's blaster. Han Solo's blaster was modified from a Mauser C96. I'm not trying to impress anyone with it. It's for home use. I like to trot around in front of the mirror with it. I merely use it at home. I wear it alone with a leather belt, and that is all I wear with it. It's comfortable, and I'm not harming anyone. When I ordered my reproduction labels for my Kinner X-Wing fighter, the seller that I got them from gave away a free R2-D2 reproduction label also. And recently I picked up R-Droid Duo on eBay for cheap. R2 needed a sticker. R2 comes apart easily. One screw holds them together. This R2-D2's clicker is broken and someone glued it at some point. The 3PO I got, his legs are glued in a position that won't let him stand. I used alcohol to get the remaining sticker and glue residue off, and I hoped that the alcohol would loosen up whatever glue 3PO had on him. I really don't want to use the force to move his legs, or any solvents that might remove his paint or harm the plastic. I rinsed R2 and then shot him with green cleaner. 3PO's legs are still not budging. And now, the part you've all been waiting for. Camcorder Nonsense, who has been serving the Midwest for almost 10 years, is experiencing technical difficulties. Please, stand by. The horseshoe shape that fits around the collar for the leg is where I started, and I did a sloppy job and had to start over, but the fit's pretty nice. And then comes the clicker piece for the top of the body. Ignore the legs, I just have them up in the air. And then the dome, and it's Phillips head screw, and I don't know what the variation of fat head screw to small screw head and washer means. This shows up on the other R2s that I have. The alcohol leaves a slight film on the paint, but it polishes off. And there he is, looking cool and fresh. Now he can join my other Star Wars figures. I put an R on mine so people will know that the sticker's a repro, and that darn 3PO's legs never freed up. But he displays pretty well on a stand. 